Four new Apple Arcade games just launched. So today we're going to have a more in-depth look at them in my third episode of new Apple Arcade games. At the end of the video, I'll be sharing an update on two upcoming games and I'm going to go over three current games latest software updates. Number one, we have Manifold Garden. Our first game on the list is a new first-person puzzle adventure title by William Cher. It heavily plays with the aspect of physics. Players can change their viewing angles to traverse the environment in different ways and to solve puzzles. According to the game's description, geometry here repeats infinitely in every direction and falling down leads you back to where you started. Manifold's Garden has been in development for seven years, and during this period, it has evolved significantly. It started as a one-man project, but over the years, William brought on other individuals and companies to help polish and, in the end, publish the game to a diverse range of gaming platforms and devices. For instance, Asbukbara Games assisted with the Apple Arcade version, and GameCake Studios helped with the iOS controls. In terms of gameplay, it's a very trippy game and you may experience vertigo at times when looking down, but it's really beautiful and has great sound design too. Manifold's Garden is available first on Apple Arcade and the Epic Games launcher, with the Steam and PS4 version to follow later. Number two, we have Pac-Man Party Royale. Pac-Man has evolved into a four-player battle royale style game where the last one standing wins. You still have to avoid ghosts, eat pellets, run around a maze, and collect invincibility power-ups. But now more than ever, it revolves around playing more closely with others. Each level has a timer too, and when the timer runs out, the glitch will appear and close in quickly on the map. If it touches you, you're dead. Instantly. I had most fun playing the game on my Apple TV 4K. This is because you can play on a larger display, and it's perfect, it's a perfect game for couch co-op. Bandai Namco have brought us a solid game, but it is missing a few important things. I'd like to see online matchmaking, because right now it only offers local multiplayer. Next, allow us to choose different skins, that would be cool, and bring a more extensive one-player mode. To keep people engaged with the game, I think more content needs to be added here. Number three is Ballistic Baseball. Gameloft have brought us a new baseball game for Apple Arcade. In Ballistic Baseball, players can go into real-time PvP games and experience the thrill and challenge of being a pitcher and batter. You can play offline against the AI or online in cross-platform multiplayer across iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, and macOS. You also have the ability to customize players with a range of bats, helmets, uniforms, and more. And none of this is locked behind any in-app purchases or pay-to-win mechanics. Do be warned though, if you don't like baseball, you probably won't like this game. It can be slow at times and also frustrating. It took me around 30 minutes to actually have the ability to nail a successful batting. I could just be terrible at the game, but the on-screen actions, they can take a while to master and are a little bit awkward. Gameloft need to have a, another look at the controls and how they operate because the timing and everything, it's just, it, it's not there yet. And once it's there, then I think players will be really happy. This could be three. Number four, we have things that go bump. This is a one to four player online game. It is by Tiny Bop, who are known to bring apps to mobile that change the way players experience the world around them by playing, creating, and learning. Things That Go Bump is their latest app, 
that explores the themes of everyday objects coming to life at night. When you launch the game, you'll have access to two modes, the offline horde mode and the multiplayer battle mode. Both modes play much the same, where you battle other everyday objects, while in horde mode, the goal is to survive as long as possible without being defeated, and this is actually my favorite mode. You can collect and attach different body parts to your, do you call it a character? Like legs, torsos, heads, eyes, and you can also find different weapons too. Each collectible item has different advantages and disadvantages for battles and traversal. It's fun, it's challenging, it can be enjoyed by all ages, it's kind of just a family game, and it has original sound design and art. Okay, here are some bonus games that I want to talk about. Monomals recently dropped a new gameplay trailer and announced that the game is coming soon to Apple Arcade. You will fish for monomals in deep waters and then you can compose music with them and you can share your tracks online. Many of you have been asking, when is the Pathless coming to Apple Arcade? Many of these questions arise because at the start of the marketing campaign by Apple for Apple Arcade, the Pathless was all over it, but when the service officially launched, it was nowhere to be seen. So recently, the developer Giant Squid said on Twitter, and I quote, The development is going great but we won't hit our original 2019 date. It's critical that we reach our high quality bar and it's going to take a bit more time. We plan to ship early 2020. So we'll be on Apple Arcade, but not as a launch title. Oceanhorn 2 is now available on Mac. It was delayed because of a small but annoying issue to the saving system. Outlanders is now playable in landscape or portrait mode. Before this update, it was locked to portrait mode. Grindstone has been updated. George has some new animations. The download and install size is approximately 1.21 gigabytes smaller than before. The game no longer interrupts music or podcasts. And there are a few other polishes. So, what games are you enjoying the most on Apple Arcade so far? Have you actually finished any? For me, my most played game is Inmost, which I finished yesterday actually. Great story, great ending too. Anyway, if you enjoy this new series, please leave a like to show your support, and subscribe and turn on notifications to be alerted about upcoming videos. Anyway, thanks for watching.